Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, today I want to talk to you about Bluebird Bio. Firstly, because I have shares of Bluebird Bio and secondly, because it's a very interesting time for this share and it has a slim cash runway and the date for approval of its cash cow, lower cell, is fast approaching. And uh, I think that's going to happen in December for sickle cell disease and April 2024 for TDT. So let me share my view of Bluebird along with some numbers um, which I have put together. Let's get started. Welcome back. Bluebird continues to build on the launch of Zinteglo for beta thalassemia as there has been 11 patient starts for Zinteglo so far. To date, the company has um, received no denials from commercial or government payers for Zinteglo, which is a very good news for them. And prior authorization approvals for drug product remain consistently at approximately two weeks. So they are able to predict their cash flow when it comes to this. Uh, however, I don't think uh, Bluebird still has a handle on how many Zinteglo and how many Skysona they would be able to sell in a year. So they are holding that for a while. And probably at the end of this year, they would have some kind of an idea. And um, Bluebird says that the patient starts remain the key commercial metric during the first year of Zinteglo launch. And uh, that will be the learning period for them. And then second year onwards, they'll start giving projections on how many uh, they would sell. And they announced the price for Zinteglo earlier at 2.8 million. So I'm assuming that the price remains the same. This means they have a billing of 30.8 30, uh, 30 million dollars um, based on these 11 patients so far. Meanwhile, cell collection has been completed for five patients for Skysona to date. And since approval, Bluebird has uh, activated four QTC, uh, QTCs to administer Skysona for patients with CALD. The announced price for uh, Skysona was $3 million. This means a billing of around $15 million from five patients. So based on reports so far, a billing of $45.8 million has been booked by Bluebird as of 30th June 2023. Now let us have a look at the set of data from Yahoo Finance that I have here on the screen while I explain my logic. For Zinteglo, it takes an average of 70 days to 90 days to manufacture. So anywhere between 70 to 90 days for manufacturing, testing, uh, releasing, and then delivering the therapy back to the hospital. And the actual infusion comes later. This means that to a great extent, the cost of production of Zinteglo and Skysona may reduce uh, as uh, systems get streamlined. However, there could be a bump when low cell is approved and commences production. Also, the market for Zinteglo and Skysona is very small, so the fortunes of Bluebird depends on lower cell, which has a much uh, larger market, many, many times larger market than Zinteglo and Skysona combined. Uh, I, I believe in the US, uh, they are looking at around 20,000 patients for sickle cell disease. However, CRISPR may get a head start on the TDT patients uh, that amount to approximately 35K, while Bluebird works towards an approval for lower cell for TDT by April 2023. To me, this seems like the climax of a Rocky movie. After being beaten and uh, uh, bruised uh, badly, the hero will land the final strong punch to knock out the rival and win the match. Can Bluebird co conserve cash and get approval for lower cell for both indications on time? Can Bluebird com compete effectively uh, against CRISPR uh, and Vertex uh, Duo for sickle cell disease market share? Well, uh, that will all depend on the pricing, and the pricing will determine the profitability, uh, and also the efficiency of operations will de determine the cost, and again, that will help determine the profitability. The lower the cost of revenue, the better uh, for profits. In this context, if you look at the, uh, the graphic that I have shown uh, to you on the screen out here, uh, you will see that uh, for uh, Bluebird Bio, the cost of um, uh, revenue uh, has been uh, going down uh, as they have improved. Uh, the more recent numbers show a good deal of improvement uh, in uh, in cost of uh, revenue. So I'm hoping that uh, things will start looking better for uh, Bluebird Bio uh, as they start booking more and more Skysona and Zinteglo patients while they get ready to ramp up and launch uh, Lovocell. Bluebird recorded 6.9 million revenue in Q2 can it do equal or better in Q3? That's another question. Well, I think that uh, Bluebird has great potential and will succeed just like Rocky. 
I do have shares of Bluebird and I'm rooting for it. And uh, guys, uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, do you have Bluebird shares and uh, do you think uh, it's going to be able to uh, sustain until uh, it can launch a, a lower sell and uh, start booking revenues out there? So with that, my friends, I'd like to end this video here. Bye for now.